Fortnite Season 5 is right around the corner. And with it are coming a ton of leaks every single day. Today, we're going to be talking about all of the leaks that have been out so far. And there might be another one later today as well. Stay tuned for that as I might cover that tomorrow. We've got pirates or Vikings or maybe both. We've got real animals, dead animals, Wild West stuff. Potentially like seven different locations, deserts and a ton more comment below what you would like to see in season five and what you think some of the leaks that i'm going to be talking about in today's video if you haven't heard already what they mean and if you think there's any legitimacy to any of them so the first thing that i want to talk about are all of the new map locations but before we do that we've got to kind of set this up a little bit now if you haven't been following along with all the leaks that have been happening there's been a bunch of different things that have come out based on the different portals that have been appearing all around the map we've had a portal at lonely lodge we've had a portal at the motel greasy grove the greasy grove der burger was found in the desert in real life i mean this is purposeful on the part of the team and definitely teases a desert location there was also one at tomato town and then not only that so there are portals popping up all over the map, right? Some are taking things away and some have started to bring things to the game. There was one by Snobby Shores that now has a massive anchor where that portal was. There was a video that somebody posted of this happening in real time where the anchor appeared. And then, but this is the thing, people think this is a pirate anchor, but actually somebody data mined the files today and or yesterday and found that the anchor appears under a folder called the Vi Viking, which would be very awesome to see in game i'm thinking boats shields mythology type of stuff but here's the thing there was a leak saying that moisty myers will become a pirate area with ships chests and lots of loot inside the ships but given the viking aspect perhaps it won't be pirates but maybe vikings instead or and my theory is that the map will have both maybe competing parties or something i don't know but whatever it is it sounds absolutely awesome and i'm super excited about that so now that we've kind of covered the basis of the portals let's go ahead and talk about some of the areas that have been teased people think that there is going to be a greek area that is coming to the map now the thing is i play save the world as well and there is already greek like structures in save the world and so people are saying that oh this is just in save the world but it turns out that these files that people are finding these renders for these 3d renders of game files and game buildings are actually appearing underneath the battle royale section of the folders so my theory is is that things are going to be i think could be easily brought over from save the world and be put into battle royale and implemented very easily on the part of the team now make sure to look in the description below because i'm going to post all of the sources that i'm using for this video in that in the description people from twitter there's things from reddit you guys can check it out follow them over there because they're always posting all kinds of leaks and whatnot on their twitter there was another crazy bug that happened today where someone experienced a bug that had a ton of sand show up in one area of the map. Some people think, oh, it's just not rendered in graphics, but then other people noticed upon looking in further examination that the sand actually had a texture like sand. It wasn't like a glitch where it was like one solid image or something like that that you've seen in other games it was legitimate sand and really there's not a whole lot of sand anywhere on the map right and so it kind of seems strange and so people are thinking that maybe there was a graphical bug that kind of revealed the location of where this sand is going to be this desert area there's also a Wild West area that people think is going to show up. Data, data mining has found files for a wood pile, outhouse, hay, and a campfire. Along with that, there's like other things like uh, FN Leak on Twitter has showcased a lot of things such as like a stagecoach and a desert skeleton. And so there's all kinds of these files that people are finding that are bringing a lot of legitimacy to these areas. And we'll talk about why these areas, why people think these areas are going to be here. Uh, and it's based on one Reddit leak. And we're going to talk about that here in a second so with the wild west area some people think once again that these things from save the world are going to be brought over given that save the world is getting a large update in 5.0 as well and they're 
are a lot of similarities between the story in Save the World and some of the events that have happened in Battle Royale. And so we have these different models now that people are starting to claim, hey, these might be, be, be brought to Battle Royale. So the models that people have been seeing are actually models from Canny Valley, which is most likely, you know, going to, you know, include a lot of different desert buildings that already do. And so people are thinking that those are going to be brought over to the desert location in Battle Royale. Only time can tell, really. So there was another portal that just popped up near Moisty, and people are speculating that this portal will have bones or a stagecoach-like thing come from it. According to Evan Leak on Twitter, if the pattern stays, then this thing should materialize today around 4 p.m. Eastern time. So we might be able to see what that is today. And so if he's correct, this guy's onto it. And then the next oddity he says should appear Monday at 3 p.m. EST. I have no idea how he figured this out, but it's really interesting and super exciting to see like what's coming to the game uh, slowly over time it's so, they're such a tease but they know how to do it well so where are these leaks coming from right that's probably the question you're asking like who is actually leaking these things and how do we know if they're legitimate well uh it's really interesting and some people would claim that this guy is full of it some people claim that he's pretty legitimate we don't know how he knows these things yet but most of this comes from one single post on reddit for season five leaks there's a guy who says by now everybody knows who internet adam was if you guys don't know who internet adam is basically in season four this guy leaked all of the secrets of season and four and he was correct and the reason why he was correct was because he was an actual tester of the game an employee some people say so the thing is this guy's now being sued by epic for leaking these files uh leaking all of these different secrets from season four so it was like a legitimate thing so this guy claims that he is that guy's friend and so he, that's what how he knows all of this information so maybe he got it from internet adam the leaker or maybe he's a tester himself or something and he's leaking it i have no idea what the truth is behind that but the interesting thing is that this guy goes into some serious in-depth detail about the season's leaks but here's the thing i'm a little bit skeptical okay and some people are as well i'm skeptical because of one reason and i think maybe it's because he was he's he's just making it up or which honestly it doesn't seem too likely because he did state something about pirates and then an anchor showed up and so i think there is a little bit of legitimacy to it so my thoughts are either this guy doesn't fully know everything or they epic has changed things or that he's just missing some information and there's a whole other aspect of the game that's going to be added mainly vikings so this guy starts off by saying i'm his friend right and then he says that lonely lodge will slowly disappear until the only thing left is trees and the tower more dinosaur footprints will be scattered around lonely and we've kind of almost already seen this coming to fruition with some of the things that have been added and then plants will grow all over it and it will be renamed jurassic jungle the tower will have vines hanging from it and what was once the lodge will soon be a cave with dino eggs now i want to interject something real fast before we continue i think there is some legitimacy to this because there was other files data mined that one of the streets that will be coming to the game are vines and so that kind of ties together so then he goes on to say that there will be a cave that will be found behind the small waterfall that will be linked to the one with the eggs and so like everything dino in this area and then chess can be found in the cave and in the tower or behind the waterfall there will also be chess and then he says there will also be dinosaurs now, uh, like I said, some of this stuff is starting to add up like as time goes on and I saw like original leaks and stuff and I've been following it for a little bit but uh, some of the things that have been revealed through data mining, it, like, it's starting to add up. And I think dinosaurs would be freaking sweet to see in game, right? And like, there's a legitimate dinosaur footprint. And so that's kind of already been teased. And I think there's a lot of legitimacy to this claim. He goes on to say that the motel will disappear and become the Wild West location and the motel will become a saloon. Now this is starting to add up with some of the things that we've seen through some of the game files if they bring over anything from Canny Valley. Now by the saloon there will be a jail and the jail is a small room about the size of the old motel. The carriages, dead animals, and horses will be littered around the area and the train rails with train and saloon will have chests and ammo boxes. Now I think that there's a little legitimacy here as well. Because because FN Leaks has found those different models that have like a dead animal, like a desert dead animal. And so like this kind of is starting to make sense. I think this guy is actually like right about a lot of these things. 
He goes on to say about the large soccer field that it will become the Pyramids of Giza and that the, the lion statue is at the pyramids and that, that will be a sphinx. Now, this is the only area that I'm like a little, mm, I don't know if it's true, but with the sand stuff that was just revealed with that bug, I'm kind of like, maybe this is actually true. I don't know if it'll have pyramids or a sphinx, but I could see that being the case because it's epic and they like to add really cool things to the game. And so maybe this whole uh, season will be all about different locations and historical relevancy that a lot of people have already kind of claimed like this might be truth. The pyramids are accessible through every side and the top. The Sphinx can only be accessed from its behind, which is <laughs> pretty funny. And, but I think that's actually how it is accessed in real life. Giant sand dunes will also be around the area. Okay, there's the sand. That kind of makes sense. Chests and ammo boxes will be found throughout all the areas that I mentioned. Now, the only thing that I'm wondering is if the areas that he's stating they're going to be in will actually be in those areas. You know what I mean? And so that's the only area that I'm like, I don't know if that's completely true, but you kind of go and fit with some of the areas on the map already now this next area is the only area of the whole thing that i'm like a little skeptical about because either he doesn't have all the information or there was an area left out or the devs have changed it like i said pirates point will replace moisty mire there'll be pirate ships on the sand there will be a pirate camp filled with decor gold skulls cannons and a cave that you can enter and loot and then there will be boats and those boats will have uh chests as well boats and cave will have chests and so um like i said I think maybe there's also a Viking area that will be on the map that isn't like leaked yet, but the Viking anchor is is just I, I don't see how they would name it Viking, like the folder Viking, if it was a pirate thing. You know what I mean? He says luck landing will be removed. This is a seasonally themed location. I mean I can see that kind of makes sense. It will be replaced with a captive castle, a castle with walls around it. The castle has an armory with swords and stables for horses, chests, and ammo boxes will be found all around the area. I don't know about this, I'm just not going to give anything really, but a castle would be cool to see in the game, you know what I mean? Then he goes on to start talking about animals, and I kind of think that this is legitimate, because I kind of noticed a little bit of similarities between what Realm Royale did and then what Epic did, like pretty much right after that came out, and so I'm like, maybe there's some legitimacy to the animal thing, they're trying to like change the game up, make it more like realistic type of uh, like locations and things like that, but he says animals will be added into the Battle Royale universe. All animals are just like decoration. They are blocking you from walking through them, but you can break them. A T-Rex will be standing at Jurassic Jungle, and uh, a Pterodactyl will fly around the tower. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. This is pretty cool if this is the case. He says horses will trot around the Wild West Motel Saloon and can be seen tied to posts outside of the saloon in jail. This is kind of different because if things are actually moving around, that could like really like you know juke some people out and make you like <laughs> shoot at them which would be pretty i'm sure there'll be like 50 million videos of that if that is actually the case camels will roam around the pyramids and over the dunes parrots will fly around pirates point and land on the trees boats and caves haunted hills will have bats flying around it so if this is true this is going to change the game quite a bit i think it like will make the game a little bit more realistic and i think that would be a cool addition what do you guys think do you think that this is really going to happen then he goes on to say that the tier 100 skin will be the Flying Dutchman. The official skin name is the Cursed Captain, and the tier 1 skin is the Explorer, who is an Indiana Jones-like skin. Now, if this is true, that is sweet, and I have to imagine that this could be real, because the Flying Dutchman is like an iconic type of looking figure, and he would be a tier 100 skin i think especially if the pirates theme is actually true then there's some legitimacy to this he goes on to say that one of the other tier skins is the time traveler scientist it doesn't have a name yet and he will be the one trying to close the portals and so i'm really interested to see you know just kind of how all this ties together but all, all this makes sense i mean the portals pop up time traveling's happening we're going back in different his periods of history i mean it all kinds of kind of makes sense in the more more leaks that come out the different bugs that are being found things are starting to add up and i'm wondering if some of these things like the bugs are actually on purpose we got the dirt burger in the desert i mean all these different things sound like this could be legitimate so guys comment below what do you think what are you excited for what do you, which one of these leaks are you most excited for if they are actually real curious to know your thoughts on all this hopefully you guys enjoyed the video you guys can definitely look forward to seeing more fortnite videos coming up Hope you guys are having a great day. Things are going well. Definitely make sure to drop that subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.